Hello, Cublets. Welcome back to another Bear With Me with me, Bear Elliot, and I hope that you're having an absolutely fabulous day. Now, that's kind of a hint if you didn't happen to see the name of this review of Absolutely Fabulous, the movie. <sighs> I have been waiting for this. I even did a vlog on the trailer, and I don't tend to do a lot of vlogs in regards to the trailer and my excitement for this movie, but I am an AbFab addict. I love AbFab. I discovered it years and years and years ago, and I've just, I've grown with it. It's grown with me, and it's just, it's such an interesting, amazing show. And when I heard that they were going to be doing a movie, I just blew my mind of how happiness. <laughs> I was just so, so, so happy about it. But there was also an underlining just kind of like right below the level of excitement of, oh God, is this going to be horrible? Please be good. Please be good. Well, I'm happy to report that I've seen the movie, Absolutely Fabulous, the movie. And it, okay, picture it. I feel like I'm on the Golden Girls. Picture it. Movie theater. Columbus, Ohio, 2016. It was a warm, hot day. Uh, I'm not going to do it that way. But hey. Golden Girls is another big gay icon. And Absolutely Fabulous does fall under that gay icon. And it's very, although it's two crazy dysfunctional women that we're focusing on, amazingly betrayed by Jennifer Saunders and Joanne Lungley of Eddie and Patsy. Well, okay, getting back to setting the, the stage for this. <laughs> the audience was made up of 99% gay men, 1% women. I don't believe I saw, or I mean, I don't want to stereotype, but there doesn't appear to be any straight men in that, that little room. And the sad thing for this particular movie when it comes to airing here in the United States and finding theaters, at least in Columbus, it was only playing at two theaters. So we are really limited in time. But the movie itself, it encapsulates the entire series of AbFab. It throws in a lot of lines that were that are just classic that you'll recognize with them and these two actresses just fall into these roles like it's just a second skin to them. And Jennifer of course she's the creator, one of the creators for AbFab and they have decades at this point just of experience with these characters. Now where do we find them? So Eddie and Patsy are basically right where we left them off, causing chaos. <sighs> Poor Eddie. She just can't get her career straight. And that's what's going on with her. Her PR business is just going into the times and it's not coming up. Much like a certain Kate Moss. And she is just trying everything to find survival when it comes to her business. Patsy? Patsy's Patsy. <laughs> Patsy's drunk, high, and still doing her kind of job? It's really hard to say that she works. Well, they get this brilliant idea to save Eddie's business. They're going to sign Kate Moss when they find out that she no longer is being represented by her PR company. So they go to attend a fashion party, which, by the way, the cameos... The, gosh, if this was a drinking game for how many like cameos there are... You'd be trash within the like the first 30 minutes. Tons and tons and tons of cameos. And a lot of the characters that we've become familiar with in the series, they're back for this adventure, which I love. When it comes to her daughter, it's just, ugh. Oh, poor Safi. Poor Safi. And it's really cool to see Safi's daughter grown up and in her teens now. The only strange thing when it comes to poor Sophie or Sophie's Safi's daughter is that I guess it's, guess it's like Sophie's choice. Safi's daughter is she's known as Jane in the in the TV series, but they basically have just abandoned that and they've just accepted that. Okay, we're calling her Lola. And getting back to the whole entire storyline, so Patsy and Eddie show up to this party, and it doesn't go well. Basically, Eddie gets accused of killing Kate Moss, which we all figured drugs was going to be doing that. But ends up it was just Eddie. Well, Eddie's on the run from the law to try to, well, <laughs> get away. 
because that's what she does. She just escapes. She doesn't want to take any responsibility for her actions. And she runs for it. Eh. And she's also running because she and Patsy don't have any money. So they get this brilliant idea while dealing with this whole chaos thing of that she's possibly have killed Kate Moss. They decide that Patsy's going to hook up with an ex from her porn days. I mean, her adult entertainment days. And she's going to meet up with him, and they're going to get all of his riches. Well, chaos ensues there as well, and it doesn't go as well as planned. Well, poor Safi. She's left to try to pick up the pieces of her mother, find her daughter, who poor Lola was dragged along. Not so much. I think uh, those jeans may be kind of thick from Eddie's side when it comes to Lola. She seems to be a little bit of hellion on wheels. Well, they end up... <sighs> the hell they end up where they end up but the really great thing is i don't want to give too much away because i want people to go see this movie i love that it had a wrap-up of sorts when it came across the entire series of Safi and eddie's relationship there's a great moment in there that is just memorable because it's finally shows some vulnerability on eddie's side and it also shows some wisdom on eddie's side which we don't get a lot of experience with in the series so Absolutely Fabulous is absolutely fabulous. Now, remember, this is not American humor. This is British humor. This might be a little bit different for you, those of you that aren't familiar with this particular series, which if you're not familiar with AvFab, it does kind of lead you into it, but you probably want to be a fan of the show to be accepting and understanding of this, this movie in its entirety. I loved it. Um, it felt like an entire series just played out directly, like you were binge watching the entire season. It very much felt like that. The comedy, I really liked that they threw back to a lot of the elements from the series itself. So you have those classic lines and the classic characters come back. Bubble, of course, is Bubbles and she's just, she nuts, girl. She nuts. I love the hashtag outfit that she wears. That was quite humorous. I liked it. Um, when it came to my friends and I, we all really enjoyed it. <laughs> One, I think, may have fallen asleep because he's not really into AvFab all that much. But he still enjoyed it. So out of my five Paul rating, because you know this falls in my 52 movies of 2016, where does this fall? I give this a solid four. I'm a huge fan. I loved it. The acting was superb. Loved the cameos. Like I said, if this is a drinking game, you're going to be drunk. And I just really fell into this movie. Great escapism just to leave your own chaos of your life and enjoy somebody else's chaos. Schadenfreude. So go out and find it. It's absolutely fabulous. The movie, it's available now in select theaters in the United States. Hope you're having an absolutely fabulous day like I am. And until next time, bye, couplets! I could count in the dark, I see you calling my name I hear you shouting, hear you calling, but it's not the same Every weapon you are throwing right into my back Doesn't matter to me, cause I'm keeping my trick Let me go Let me go Let me go